Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm just going to go through some basic adding of nodes and building a basic workflow for Comfy UI. So clear out your workspace by clicking the clear button and clicking OK. And then there are various ways to add nodes. You can right click in the workspace, add node, pick one of these loaders to load the checkpoint. So that's one way to get a node. If you look at the node itself, it's got a layout. Typically on the left will be inputs, on the right will be outputs, and then properties are in the middle with various um, controls, text controls, radio buttons, and so on. The other way to add a node is you can double click and then do a search. So we can search for flip text in code. This is where we will create positive prompts or negative prompts so we, this would be a positive prompt and a negative prompt um, but now you can see they're named the same so we could change the color of each of these so you could say this is the positive this is the negative and also change the title So now that helps us visually see which prompt does what. The other way to add a node, which I quite like, is this option where you can take one of the outputs, drag it into empty space, let go, and then it gives you options to add it. Click this add node, search for a node, or it recommends various applicable nodes that match that output so you choose the k sampler in this case and when you do that it also links them together automatically for you so we're starting to build a little basic workflow here we have the model output going to the model input of the k sampler we need to join our positive and negative prompts so this clip goes to that clip this clip goes to that clip okay and the condition output of this positive prompt goes to the positive and the negative goes to the negative. Okay, so next is we have our model. Okay, sampler, we need to fill in our latent image and um, the output of this latent image from the sampler. So we need some random noise and the way you do that is again you can drag this out the empty space and choose the empty latent image and you can see it automatically links everything out and you've got a width and a height 512 by 512 and then lastly let's just preview this image so we we need one step before we can preview. We need the, the VAE decode. And then after that, we can take this image and say preview image. So you see it dragging out the actual outputs and letting it choose various options for you is the quickest way to workflow your Comfy UI uh, workflows. The only thing that's missing here is a VAE, and that's just because you have a choice here. Either your model comes with a VAE, and you can just drag this VAE to that VAE on the decode, or we can drag this out and choose the VAE loader, and this is the one we want for this example. All right. So here we have our basic workflow. Let's actually preview the image. So let's put in a positive prompt, put in a negative prompt, and cue the prompt. And there's your image. Okay. Now the other thing that you might want to do is reuse various uh, inputs to outputs 
and you can convert properties to inputs. So you can right click, for example, on the width here and say convert width to input. Now you can see it appeared on the left. And if we drag that out, we can add a node, utils, primitive, and then the primitive node knows that this is an integer of 512 for that width. And now we can also queue that prompt and it should work exactly the same way. Okay, so that's how you build your first workflow, how you add nodes, how you search for nodes, and what each of these, what your checkpoint is, what your case sampler is, and so on. Um, and that's just the basic node workflow for Comfy UI. And that, that's all for today, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about Stable Diffusion and Comfy UI, check out the links below in the description. As always, please support the channel by subscribing and clicking the like button below.